Hi, Jared here. One question I get asked all the time, how much do I charge for shipping in my e-commerce store? I'm gonna to try to answer you in under two minutes. My name is Jared Mitchell, a short about me. I'm the head of e-commerce for Neil Patel, and over the last 15 years, I've generated over $30 million in physical product sales on my shopping carts, not including Amazon. I was also the first in the beauty industry around 15 years ago to offer free shipping all orders with no minimums, and it worked beautifully. So that's the short answer. Free shipping all orders with no minimums will always convert higher, and in most cases, it'll provide larger average order sizes too. But one thing, make sure it's at the top of all of your pages, especially mobile view. So what if you don't have the margins to do this? Well, it's okay, don't fret. Once our store got a little bigger, we spent a lot of money to set up a really complicated split test. Free shipping all orders versus free shipping if you spend $35 or more. And we were surprised at the results. We ended up converting higher and having a higher average order size with the $35 setup. I think it's because people are getting more used to paying a small shipping fee. So if you are charging, that's the key. Keep your shipping fees small. Be okay with eating a little cost to increase conversion. So I like to tell people, if you're a smaller boutique website, try free shipping all orders. As you grow, try charging maybe a $35 minimum to get free shipping from there. As always, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up, a like, and comment. And if you have questions, post in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching.